Do you want to use Grammarly with Apple Mail? Well, good news, it's pretty easy to do. Hi there, my name is Brian Collins, and in this short video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps for setting it up with Apple Mail. Hope you enjoyed this short video. If you do, let me know in the comments section below. So firstly, create your Grammarly account as normal. Once you've created your Grammarly account, rather than installing it to your web browser, log into the web app at app.grammarly.com. Once you've logged in, look for the apps section on the left-hand side of the menu bar. Now, obviously you're visiting this on your MacBook or your iMac. I'm currently using a Mac Studio for this video. Once you're doing this, you should see Grammarly for Mac automatically appear. And it'll give you a little prompt to install Grammarly for Mac, which you can run on your computer. Once you've installed Grammarly for Mac, it'll prompt you to put in your email and password for your Grammarly account. And then it's gonna run in the background and you can use it to check any article or any piece of writing anywhere across your Mac in any writing application. It really does work quite well. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna open up Apple Mail and I'm gonna go ahead and paste in an article uh, that's packed full of typos and grammar mistakes. And you can see automatically Grammarly has uh, highlighted the copy edits, grammar errors and spelling mistakes that I should accept or dismiss or perhaps add to my dictionary. And I can also trigger this by clicking on the floating Grammarly icon uh, and the number 29 indicates the amount of suggestions to work through. And again, I can use the tooltip to navigate through these one by one, deciding what to accept or what to ignore. Now I know it can be a little bit distracting to have a floating icon and all of these words underlined in blue and red when writing an email. So good news, you can turn off Grammarly uh, by clicking on the G icon then clicking on the cog. And you can turn it off for 30 minutes, which is more than enough time to write any email. And then at the end of the 30 minute period, Grammarly will turn back on and you can check your work. Alternatively, you can turn it off indefinitely. If you do this and you're wondering where Grammarly has gone or you want to reactivate it, look for the G icon in the menu bar. So firstly, this indicates that Grammarly is still running. If it's not, relaunch it. Click on settings and go to block list and just make sure you remove mail or whatever the application is from uh, the block list on the Grammarly desktop version. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use Grammarly for mail. And the steps that I've shown you basically apply to any writing app on your Mac or on your iMac. Hope you enjoyed this content. I have other extensive Grammarly tutorials, including a review and some tips and tricks. So please do check those out. And if you'd like to get a Grammarly discount, I'll include that in the notes below this video. It is an affiliate link, meaning I earn a small commission. But of course, that does help me uh, build a channel. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe.